Well, we went about an hour east of Hermosillo and kind of in the middle of nowhere right now. Going to hunt this low land around some hills over here looking for elegant quail. It's yep. Be, uh... Stay right there, Dad. Just keep heading that way. Sure. Swing back up a little and we'll go this way still. Sure. Crap. I just heard it fly. Sure. Took off, I didn't see it though. Pretty hot out here this afternoon, trying to keep Shooter as hydrated as we can. So he was explaining that this is color yellow, yellow, yellow orange. orange. Yeah. On, on the males. On the males, all right. But they're pretty much the same color. That would explain why they all look like males when they fly. <laughs> At least that's why. We put up one that flew this way so and it I blew up him. a tree. I saw him. Uh -huh. And then I put up two more that had that same line, and they stayed in that box. Okay. Yeah, they didn't go up or over either way. They were this way. Let's yeah, walk. Uh, they... Keep walking a little bit more over there. If we find them, <clears throat> I hope we do. And then if not, I'm gonna bring the band and go to the other field okay. where they saw other cavies. Okay. They, they said they were uh, 15, 20. What they saw here. Gotcha. We only have seen like, four or five. Yeah, yeah. handful. So, so did they just come in on foot and and? Yeah, looking. Yeah, and yeah. like and, and you notice, it's not like a gamble. It's like they don't. Well, yeah, one here, you can't, one you can't, and you can't hear them when they. Uh, yeah. No. They're not that noisy. Yeah. Okay. Up in front, Justin. Right. Here, here, here. Release. Good boy. A gambles quail here in Sonora, that headdress. It's only a week left of season down here and this is about as feathered up and colored up as they'll get. Starting off this morning looking for elegant quail. We waited till about 10 o'clock to head out just to give them some time to get off the roost and move about. But we've got a couple hours before it gets too hot for the dogs to work. We're planning to stay out here all day. As you can tell, elegant quail, it's, it's more like a desert bird, kind of like a scale quail. It's real, real dry and bushy. So we're trying to get them in areas that we can actually get shots. We put up some yesterday, but it was so thick they'd always go up on the other side of the bush and wouldn't be able to get anything.
out one of them. Shoot it, hip, hip, hip. Shoot it, hip. First elegant quail. Shoot a hip, hip, shoot a hip, hip. See that one went. That was great shooting. That was a male. That's it. This is it. 28 after a busy fall. A male elegant quail down here in Sonora. And these are kind of like a little hidden gem. They're only in the northwest corner of Mexico would be Sonora, Chihuahua, Nayarit, and Jalisco. Not many people come down here to hunt, obviously, because it's tough to get a dog down, but it was well worth it. And the farmers here do a pretty good job of uh, truthfully managing for these. As they've come in and kind of cleared these areas out, it's allowed elegant quail to be able to sustain down here versus just the desert. A little bit of water they bring in. Just kind of a mix of emotions after close to 100 days in the field. 400 miles walked. I can't even tell you how many days we've been gone. It's been different beds, thankful wife, kids, supportive. And to be here with dad, he's over there. We're gonna continue on and hopefully get him one this afternoon. Just amazing, there it is. I'll crush it off, everybody can go now. Enjoy the rest of the day. And Keep hunting. You yep. Know? But yeah, pressure's off. So I really want to walk this little sorghum here. Okay. To see if uh, we find that group we saw there uh, earlier. What's a shooting going on from that side? Here, here. <coughs> it's like I'm standing here because I'm yeah. thirsty. Well, the areas we're hunting for elegant quail are kind of these old crop fields to where they have fence rows. And elegant quail are actually one of the quail species that the population is growing, mainly because of things like this. There are more agriculture coming in, and it's kind of clearing out the desert, which allows perfect habitat for them. So their population is growing, which is great.
walk in these dry creek beds here next to some old agricultural fields and these coveys of elegant quail just kind of made this their home. It's one of the only species of quail that's actually increasing at a rapid rate. And a lot of it's because of all the agriculture that's kind of cleared out this low desert area here. But this is an amazing and gorgeous bird. Well, today we're on the east side of Hermosillo, right where the Gambles quail are at. And you can tell it's completely different cover than where the elegant quail, more open and so forth. So we're gonna sneak around here and it's, call it mid morning. The quail should be out and off the roost and moving around now, but we got about two hours before it gets into the high 80s and dogs will be shut down for a couple hours then. So we're gonna capitalize here, sneak around and start hunting. They know there's a couple coveys in here just because there's water here. So it's open, but there's enough moisture to keep them in the area. Well, it didn't take very long to get right into them. Gorgeous male gamble. Oh, arrow was on that one. Arrow, whoa! We're cruising along, got into a pretty decent covey here. It's always nice to pull off a double on quail. Oh, two up ahead. There's a bunch. Oh, yeah. Well, we're just on our last pass in the field here and put up one last covey and ended it on a double. The hunting here has been absolutely amazing. I haven't seen gambles in this kind of population before. I mean, it's what gambles really need to succeed is water. And they've got water here and they've had rains the last two years. And just the way that they've managed it here for them, populations like I've never seen down here in Sonora for gambles. Ooh, still a little dark this morning. They come from both directions. Because we'll probably get one of them. One of the other birds you can get here besides doves is pigeons. I didn't have this on the on the master list, but just a gorgeous bird and a lot tougher than what you think.
kind of a mix of emotions after close to 100 days in the field, 400 miles walked. I can't even tell you how many days that we've been gone. It's been different beds, thankful wife, kids, supportive. And to be here with dad, he's over there. We're gonna continue on and hopefully get him one this afternoon. Just amazing, there it is.